Everything that has a beginning has an ending. Just like that, a time will come when our universe will end and it could happen in many ways. Today we are going to look into one such possibility which astronomers call death by heat. Now what is this death by heat and will there be any humans or any civilization left to witness this? Let's find out because you guys are watching The Terrestrial Tech. About 13.8 billion years ago, our universe came into existence after which formation of stars, black holes, galaxies and all those matter that we see and know today were formed, along with things that are yet to be discovered. Today when we look at the sky, all the galaxy and everything in the existence seem to be moving away from each other and this expansion is not slowing down. By looking at all this, we can clearly guess that in far future our universe is going to be a cold and dark place to live. Earlier it was thought that due to the push of Big Bang, everything is going away from each other and eventually a time will come when the things slow down because of this strong gravitational field or attraction will take place between the galaxies and everything again will come closer to each other. And this would be called the Big Crunch. But later we found out that exactly opposite is happening here. Instead of slowing down, the expansion rate of the universe is growing in an accelerated way. And we think only one thing can be held responsible for this, which is the dark energy. It is believed that the dark energy is pushing things away from each other across the universe. And looking at all these, we can well infer that everything in the future will end with the heat death. This term might lead you to believe that heat death means the end of universe will be fiery and something like that. But actually it's just opposite because sometimes heat death is also known as the big freeze. According to which at the end of the universe it's going to be a cold place. So in the first phase of death by heat, after 100 billion years from now, the universe will have expanded so greatly that no galaxies will be visible. To understand this better, if we use Hubble Space Telescope at that time to look at the other galaxies, it will not be able to capture any of them. Now in the second phase, about 1 trillion years from now, there would be no stars left in the universe. Some stars that are present in our galaxy today will be in their final stages and all the galaxies are now so far away that no collisions are going to happen, which means no new formation of stars. And if we talk about black holes, then they will slowly evaporate due to Hawking radiation. At that point of time, only one thing will be left in the entire universe. That is darkness. Infinite darkness. A cold place which is full of nothingness. And it will be called death by heat. Now the question comes is what will happen to all of us? Well, if by any chance we stop fighting with each other and prevents the event of destroying ourselves or greed or anything else, or an asteroid or any such events which is capable of wiping out the whole civilization do not take place, then maybe in coming hundreds or thousands of years, we will develop such technologies which can be used to explore other places in the galaxy. And as our civilization progresses, after a few thousand years, we might leave this human form and adapt to something else something far greater than this, laying the foundation of an intergalactic civilization which not only travels from one galaxy to another but spreads all over the universe. And when this death by heat happens, at that time either we will be so technologically advanced that we will create our own universe or nobody else will be around to witness this event. It is quite fascinating today, while walking on a small planet like Earth, we can think about end of something whose beginning is still unknown to us. It is even more interesting that how we are just like a bubble in this universe and just one simple and normal event can be end of all of us. For example, all it takes is a right time and a right place for a powerful solar flare to come towards us which is capable of destroying all the natural defense mechanism of Earth, meaning not only us but the end of all life that exists today on the planet. 
That's why we should enjoy every moment and feel lucky that when we get out of the bed every morning, the whole thing stays the same as it did yesterday. Moon is orbiting the Earth at the right time, due to which climate change is happening. Earth is perfectly revolving around the Sun. And today we are standing because of hard work of evolutionary process which took it millions of years to bring us here. At the end, I just want to say, be thankful for what you have today because there might be no tomorrow. That's all for today. If you like this video then subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon. See you guys in next video.